Good morning, everyone. My name is Nihal Chandradas, and I got a golden opportunity to speak upon applicability of long wall advanced mining method with case study. Now, coming to the content of the slide with introduction, which include long wall mining method and its type, then why long wall mining method under the heading need of long wall mining method, then a case study of Chinakuri. ECL with its instrumentation support system and working and output. With the help of the case study, we will try to discuss the reason for slow progress of long wall in India and then applicability of long wall mining method. Thereafter, we will discuss the scope of improvement in long wall mining method accompanied with a short summary of the discussion. Let's begin with the introduction. In the nuclear energy era, we need to understand this. The coal is very much important for developing countries like China and India. About 70% of energy is coming from coal. Now, coming to India, India is the third largest producer of uh, coal and produces about 638.05 million ton per year but only 15% of which come from the underground coal mines in which less than 5% is from long wall mining method. Now what is long wall? It is a form of underground mining method where a long wall of coal is mined in a single slice. In short all the coal in working section of the coal thin is removed by a series of operation maintaining a continuous line of advance in one direction and leaving behind the void called gof. We can see here in the figure the upper view of long wall mine method which include the direction of mining and the self advancing hydraulic roof system. The side view, uh, the side view explains how <coughs> it is done. Thoroughly. Now we classify the long wall faces. It is generally classified into two types. First one is conventional long wall advancing and second is conventional long wall retreating phase. We will generally discuss upon conventional long wall advancing. This method, the starting point is close to the heading. The face equipments are once installed, the extraction can be started toward the block limit. Uh, it, this is generally favored in uh, Europe because of relatively thin ships and uh, can be easily packed with stone. Now coming to the retreating, this method first the gate uh, roads are driven from the main heading to the block limit and then are connected, uh, connected with uh, roadways to install the face equipments. Once the phase equipment is installed, production commences with the phase retreating from the limit back towards the main heading usually to finish at the position so that barrier pillar is left to protect the lateral heading. Now, why long wall? Need of long wall mining method can be understood with the help of three factors. As the coal demand increasing, we need a method to produce bulk amount of coal with safe extraction as the open cast can be performed only in shallow depth and with the depletion of shallow reserves we have to depend only on long wall mining method. Why long wall can be better understand with the following five factors as it has higher percentage of extraction as compared to board and pillar Higher quality of coal can be extracted from it, which are situated in the deep seated mines. It increases safety with the use of self advancing roofs. It is also suitable for the thick seams. <coughs> Case study Chinakuri ECL. Chinakuri is under Eastern Coal Fill Limited. It is situated at the bank of the Damodar River and about 1.5 square kilometer in area. Nearby cities are Banpun, Asansol, and Niamatpur. 
Now coming to the long wall face, which is 182.8 meter long and 3.6 meter thick, dipping at a gradient of 1 and 4.6. The depth of walking is more than 600 meter and the face was let at a gradient of 1 and 7. The walking height of the face was 1.52 meter along the floor of the seam. The tailgate road was 4.2 meter into 3.0 meter high and the main gate road 4.2 meter wide and 2.4 meter high. The layout is described in the figure. Here we can show it's an advancing method and this is the both area. <coughs> And this uh, here we can show the return gate and uh, the walking area here. Now coming to the following instruments were used in the face. First the coal getting machine, Anderson shearer with 1.52 meter diameter with a web width of 508 millimeter width. It is a 70 horsepower. Now coming to the coal clearance, uh, 200 ton per hour, 622 millimeter wide AFC powered by 250 horsepower motor with 40 numbers of 5 ton push jacks distributed over the face for shaking the conveyor. Uh, 550 horsepower, 33.53 meter long stage loader. Uh, 25 horsepower, 762 millimeter wide belt gate conveyor. For gateway road, two numbers of coal cutting machine, one in each gate road for the gate dry road drivage, two number of electric drills, one in each staple hold, power supply, 1250 kilowatt ampere, 3300. 550 volt transformer was used, 8 number of gate and box drill panels and switches were used, 1 number of feather switch was used. Coming to the material supply, a uh, tugger haulage for suppliers is used. Coming to the support system, a uh, 40 ton TRC friction props and 10.2 meter long bar on a triangular system was used for face support. The distance between the adjacent bar was 1.22 meter and between the rows of friction it was 50.8 centimeter. The main and tail gate were 10.36 meter wide and 1.52 meter depth and 5.49 meter wide and 1.52 meter depth respectively. The main and tailgate were supported systematically up to a 20 meter distance out by, by steel joist crossbar placed on steel supports. Support system layout is shown in the figure. Now describing the working cycle which includes shearer to cut the face and partly load the cut coal from dip to rise web depth of 0.51 meter at a speed of 2.1 meter per minute then plated back plugging the rest of the fallen coal on the AFC at a speed of 4.25 meter per minute as plugging continues the snaking of the conveyor was done from the top end of the face with the help of hydraulic ram and supports were advanced after every such six years that is 3.04 meter advance the gof was stoked solid hydraulically with sand. It was planned that the cycle of six shears and stoving should be completed in four shift. Working output is described as below. The average output was 400 ton per day which could be concluded as Maximum at that time, as mostly board and filler was applied in our country. The OMS, that is output per man shift, is 3.2 tons. The average advance of the face per month was 18.9 meters. Now, considering the above case study, we will describe 
the reason for slow progress of long walls in india number 1 include open cast method there is a scope of advancing long wall method in india but because of open cast method which provides a safe and economic extraction of coal the long wall has to take a back seat the second is its poor operating conditions like ventilation and transportation in advancing is too poor less number of success in history also led the investor to not believe in it retreating has a number of advantages over it which makes it dull applicability of long wall advanced mining methods production can be earlier as the mine does not have to wait for the gate roads to be developed before the long wall production can commence this is the major benefit in case of long wall advanced mining method the second is it provides an opportunity for disposal of stone which has to be excavated into the gate side packs which is quite economic uh, in the sense of transportation of this stones with the help of above case study now we will try to discuss scope for improvement in long wall mining system which include analysis of the problems involving the following seven factors number 1 geo mining conditions number 2 management of spaces number 3 research number 4 open cast mining number 5 faulty planning number 6 improper selection and number 7 long wall support selection deficiencies now coming to the summary of this discussion we have discussed under introduction what is long wall and its types along with the need of long wall mining method then we have discussed a case study of chinakuri ecl mine thereafter we have gone through the reasons for slow progress of long wall in india then applicability of long wall advanced mining method then scope of for improvement in long wall mining method with regard of advanced mining method thereafter we have discussing the summary that's all thank you